Grand Theft Auto V has now sold 130 million copies, and that's not even including the free copies recently claimed from the Epic Games Store. It's no wonder then that the modding scene is so healthy on PC, where galaxy brains are doing everything from remastering the visuals to adding that big angry grape from the Avengers. With millions picking up the game every month, I thought I'd share some of the crazier GTA V mods that we've enjoyed. I've put links to them in the description and show you how to install them at the end of this video. Of course, there are thousands of the things, so suggest your favourite GTA V mods in the comments. Now let's discover the weirder side of Los Santos. There are a blast of zombie mods available for GTA 5, but the absolute best is Simple Zombies. Essentially, this turns the game into a DayZ like. You have to loot dead bodies in shops for provisions in order to keep your thirst and hunger meters low, whilst also fighting off the threat posed by the reanimated corpses. You do that by crafting weapons at your workbench, which you can plonk down in a palatial countryside base. Or, if you're like me and prefer to be closer to the action, you can just pitch your tent on a footpath in town. Also, worry warts can relax a little. Mankind's legacy doesn't rest solely on your shoulders. In this mod, you'll come across plenty of AI-controlled survivors. And like all good zombie stories, some are sound and will help you fight off the horde, while others will try and kill you on sight. You can't compare this to Undead Nightmare. Comparing most things to the original Red Dead Zombie spin-off would be unfair. Still, if you're looking for a Walking Dead type experience in Grand Theft Auto, get on this. Like every modern open world action adventure these days, Grand Theft Auto V has RPG elements. You can improve your stamina, your driving skills, whatever. It's not quite Skyrim with guns, but if you do want that, GTA RPG might be worth a look. You can play as Michael Trevor or Franklin if you want, or if you're a fan of GTA Online, you can make your own custom character. You get to pick your gender, your appearance, your class, you even get to level up in the areas you want by dumping points into a skill tree. And that's not where the role playing ends. GTA RPG has its own quest line which involves conversations with NPCs. The best part of these chats is that you get to choose what comes out of your character's mouth thanks to a selection of dialogue options. The depth in this one is utterly ludicrous. A must for those who enjoy the freedom of GTA Online but aren't fond of playing with others. I know what you're thinking, but look, just don't worry. This mod isn't an homage to Kevin Costner's post-apocalyptic films of the mid-90s. It's much better than either Waterworld or The Postman, although that is a pretty low bar. No Water plus Tsunami plus Atlantis is fairly descriptive already, but for those in the back, this mod allows you to submerge San Andreas in water or drain the state dry. Hopping on a jet ski and whizzing alongside high-rises is surreal, but cycling your BMX on the ocean floor is something else. Lowering GTA 5's water level allows you to explore all the areas of the map that would normally require a magnificent set of lungs. Seeing the extraordinary detail that's normally hidden is a must for any fan. I just hope these dolphins didn't suffer too much. Since its release 18 years ago, GTA fans have been wondering when they'll get a mainline entry in the series that takes them back to Vice City. While we don't know if another 80s fueled Scarface inspired story is on the cards for Rockstar, we do know that you can play a gorgeous looking version of the classic via this exceptional mod. The trailer shows Tommy Versetti getting into a few of his memorable scrapes, but in reality you won't be able to play through the original story. Vice Cry Remastered is more about making you feel all fuzzy inside as you drive around all the old haunts. Until we get confirmation that Grand Theft Auto 6 will be taking place in the universe's fictional Miami, this will do nicely. Come on Rockstar, take your talents to South Beach again. Pretty please? Hey, 
look like a simple stun gun, but this piece does more than startle. It takes the shackles off and turns you into a free man. A free man. It turns you into Gordon Freeman. This gravity gun mod is exactly what you think it is. You have a weapon that allows you to pick up a ton of different things. Innocent bystanders and vehicles obviously being the most exciting. If you're a kind soul, you can gently place them on the ground after suspending them in the air for a bit. Or you can shoot them across the sky. That second option will probably appeal to the most of you. Look, moving pictures are worth a thousand words. I think it's time for one of those patented RPS slow-mo montages. Not too shabby, eh? Kids aren't interested in Half-Life anymore, though, are they? Too busy running around an island and inflicting pain on 99 of their closest friends. If you've never been able to get on board with Fortnite's cartoon violence, then why don't you try roguelike come Battle Royale Complex Control? Who knows, you might see the allure of Epic's Juggernaut once you give this a go. You begin by choosing from a ton of randomly generated avatars, each with their own special abilities and buffs. After spawning on the map, AI control characters will begin dropping in by parachute and then all you have to do is stay alive. I say all you have to do, but these boys and girls are relentless. If you can avoid the onslaught from your opposition and ensure you're inside the ever-shrinking blue circle of death at all times, you will be having chicken for tea. And if you're a stone cold killer that can last a few matches, you'll be able to trade in your avatar for another. It's surprisingly deep and importantly, great crack. My favorite bit when I played was that I had two protective huskies by my side whenever I teleported. Look at how gorgeous these murderous doggies are. Shame they can't do much about road rage like this though. Every game should have a super hot mode. You know, the delightful 2016 indie FPS where time moves when you move and you used it to batter faceless mannequins senseless. This mod basically transforms GTA 5 into a really detailed version of super hot. To be honest, it's just fun to see a rocket hurtle towards a load of cars on an intersection. See? So when you're standing still, everything is in super slow motion, but as soon as you move or shoot your gun, everything around you goes back to regular speed. There's a distinct lack of red polygonal aggressors, but I'll gladly take any opportunity to celebrate one of the more interesting shooters of the last decade. Look at this man's neck turning inside out and tell me you don't want to play this. We hate to be the fun police, but please do remember to take regular breaks. Be sure to head outside and take in the beauty of San Andreas during a lovely relaxed drive. Oh dear. Even if Carmageddon was before your time, you can probably hazard a guess that this mod focuses on vehicular destruction rather than minor scrapes in a Morrison's car park. As well as smashing into you and exploding around you, you can, from the comfort of your car, shoot an infinite number of cars at other cars for some sweet car-on-car -car violence. As the name suggests, it's utter mayhem, and probably better than the 2016 reboot of the series that inspired it. The car combat genre likely isn't coming back anytime soon, so twisting some metal here is as good as it gets in 2020. And it does get good. There are plenty of mods out in the wild that allow you to play as Marvel Super Friends, but who needs Tony, Bruce or Peter when you can create your own superhero? Jedi am going to kill you, man. The Psychokinetic mod gives you force-like powers, enabling you to pick up cars, pedestrians, whatever you like, but with your mind. Of course, you can gently place them back down on the ground, or you can let your inner Sith fly and fling them as far as Tatooine. You're basically a god with this installed. You can crush cars from a distance, you can open up black holes, you can fly into the air and punch helicopters into oblivion. It's ridiculous. 
If you fancy, you can even pretend you're playing that sequel to Driver San Francisco that you've always wanted. No? No, just me then. I had issues getting some of the powers to register, and the controls are a bit janky, but Psychokinetic wouldn't be on this list if it wasn't oodles of fun. Again, you can punch helicopters. Brilliant! As good as Temtem is, there's no replacement for Pikachu and his pals. And finally, they're on PC. Sort of. All you gotta do is nab this mod and then you can turn Los Santos into Palatown. Anything that allows you to stick Squirtle on the back of your motorbike is more than worthy of a place on this list. As you've no doubt figured out, it's more Pokemon Go than regular Pokemon. There are Pokestops that dole out eggs and balls dotted about the map, and the adorable creatures are captured by just simply lobbing a Pokeball in their direction. But unlike Go, a Bulbasaur can square up to you if they're able to avoid your red and white spherical cage. Show some fucking respect! This little green fella can properly do you harm, bastard. Be sure to check this one out if lockdown has affected your daily walks to Pokestops in your neighbourhood. Actually, you should install this even if you're not a daily user of Go. It's lovely seeing Charmanders and Geodudes waddle about GTA 5 before you imprison them forever and ever in your pockets. It's great! If you want to install any of these mods, let me guide you through the process. You have to first download a tool called Scripthook V. In the downloaded folder for that, you'll find another folder called Bin. Just copy the three files in there into your main Grand Theft Auto 5 folder and you're ready to start installing mods. Well, most mods. There are subtle differences between many of the ones highlighted in this video, but each does come with a handy step-by-step -step installation guide, so you needn't really worry. Just scroll down to the description and you'll find all the links you need. All these mods get the RPS seal of approval, so get downloading and have some fun. If you've got a favourite from this list, then please let us know. Also, we're always on the lookout for new GTA 5 mods, so drop us a comment if your favourite wasn't featured. If we enlightened your life over the last 10 or so minutes, a thumbs up would be much appreciated. And if you want even more Rock Paper Shotgun content, just hit subscribe and then ring that bell. Then, you'll never miss anything RPS related in the future. Thank you very much for watching, now go and mod, you absolute star.